Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to implement static event triggering in LabVIEW. In the block diagram, we have two while loops running in parallel. Now we're going to add an event structure. At the moment, it will only show the timeout. Uh, let's use the event on the stop button. So we'll drag that inside the event structure and then we have to edit the event handled by that case so we'll, it has been currently being set to timeout we'll change that to the stop and we'll press ok now it as you can see the event has been set to stop so next what we'll do is we'll connect that war corner directly to the stop button and similarly, we'll create a local variable so that both loops will be stopped whenever we press the stop button. And the error button is still being broken. The reason is because the boolean latch action is incompatible. So we have to convert that into the switch when pressed. As you can see, the arrow is solid now. So next. What we'll do is we'll test the functionality of the event structure. So if we'll press run using the harlot execution, as you can see, the top loop will wait for the event to be triggered while the loop on the bottom is running continuously. So when you press the stop button, the event has been triggered. Now there is another way of handling the or using the static event trigger let's modify the code in the bottom while loop we'll add a case structure which will handle which will be enclosing the enclosing the property node of the stop button which will be used to trigger the event without actually pressing the stop button so what i'll do is uh, create property nodes and we'll use the value signaling and if we connect that to true that means whenever this code is being called the static event has been triggered programmatically so now let's try this if we change that to highlight execution again, and if we'll run, the event on the top will be waiting while the code in the bottom loop is running continuously. So if we'll press the stop button, the case has been satisfied. So it will call the property node of the stop button, and simultaneously the event has been triggered on the top while loop. 